seven years. Good. Good, good, good. What's going on with all your cameras? What's going on with all your cameras today? I don't want to put my camera on because I want to lag again. So I'm going to try to not put my camera on because last time it kept on kicking me out. So can I keep my camera off, please? Sure. Let's see if that helps. Okay. Okay. How are you, Ashad? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Thanks. I'm good. Hi, Adam. How's it going? Um, okay, so we'll give them the 105. We'll give them the typical amount of extra time. Uh, how's this week going for you guys? How, how are you feeling in your heart and in your brain? How's your life going? Let's start with Ashad, because you're the only one that I know is actually there. How are you? I'm good. Um, life's going good. Is it? What's going good about it? What's something good? Mm, the uh, weekends I can sleep all I want. That is a quality feature. Absolutely. What about you, Adam? What's, what's, what's a good thing? Hi, John Green. What's going well over there? Nothing? What's going bad then? What's one thing that's not going well? I don't know. Oh, I was talking to Adam. Adam, I can't hear you. And I also can't see you. You've got some tech work to do. What about you, John Grant? How are you? Good. Good. And you're not sure one thing that's going well? What's something that's going good over there for you? Uh. I just play with my sister. Okay, there you go. Playing with your sister. You're still pretty lucky to have someone to hang out with and play with. That's a nice one. What about you, Camille? What's good over there? Um, um, I, um, I don't have that much homework. Yeah. Like I finished it like on time. That's nice. That's totally a quality bonus. Always lovely. Cool. Uh, okay, so we'll give them two more minutes. How was the science for today? I was hoping that it would be mm, kind of good, kind of okay for you. Yeah? Sweet. Okay. So really, we're only here if you guys have any questions. This is just a support Zoom. I have no experiments to do for you or anything like that. So we're just here if you have any questions that you want answered. And if not, then we'll end this meeting a little bit early. Zoe so was actually pretty smart to like put um, put answers of questions that were not there in the PowerPoint. Thank you very much, Ashad. <laughs> I had to literally, it made me so mad. I had to like search up. It took me over, but well, since eight o'clock until um, 12. And you were just saying you had to search them up. You couldn't, you couldn't. No, no, I, up? no, I didn't, I didn't have to search it up on the internet. I, I had to search it up on the PowerPoint. Literally, I had to go to all the slides and. You're welcome. I'm forcing the learning. If you just copy down a bunch of fill in the blanks, that's pretty easy to do. But every once in a while, I have to make sure that you're thinking hard about something. That's part of it. I've got to make sure you're thinking in there still. Okay. Hi, Khaled and Khaled. How are you? Um, Adam, can you just leave your camera on? Camille's having some trouble with her internet glitching out, so I'm going to let her keep hers off. But Adam and Khaled, if you could just leave yours on, that would be really wonderful. wonderful. Khaled and Becky, how are you feeling? Good. You're good? Nice work. And Khaled al Kasib, how are you feeling? Good. Good. Can you turn your camera on, please? Okay, let me just get something. Okay. 
Okie dokie. Um, how about Brecky? What's your mom's name? Skill testing question for you. What's your mom's name? How about Brecky? My mic was muted. I was talking to myself. Um, Miss Ma. Okay, perfect. Thank you. You passed with great success. Um, okay, so I was just mentioning to the other class people that we um, we're just here for a support Zoom. If you have any questions that you didn't understand from the PowerPoint or the question sheet, then we'll go over them. And if you feel like you've got this one all sorted out, then we'll just stick with that. Um, anybody who doesn't have your camera on right now, do you want to just explain to me why? Because I'm never really, I'm never sure. Explain why to me, and maybe that would make me feel more like you deserve to have that off. Adam, go ahead. Oh, I can't hear you. Can't hear you. Khaled, did you dye your hair again and you're hating it? What's going on with your hat over there? I just comb my hair, but I don't like it. You don't like it? You cut it? Come on, let us see. I bet it looks really wonderful. No. Let us see. It looks the same as a long see. time ago, but it still doesn't look good. What? Are you sure? My hair's not looking that sweet today. Come on, show us. Fine, here. What do you mean? It looks great. What don't you I like don't about like it. it? What don't you like about it? I don't know, it's just so short. Yeah, it looks tidy. It looks like you mean business now. I think it looks great. I mean, you don't have the Khaled El Brecky surfer wave going on anymore, but it'll come back. I'm just gonna close my window because it's, oops, a little bit loud. Dude, mine are shorter, really. Yeah, a shot's hair is shorter. He's loving it. Um, okay, oh, Nelly's here, a little late, but good. Okay, guys, so let's go ahead and start. Do you want to start with any questions that you have? Because I think that's the easiest way. I don't think that I'm gonna go through all of the fill in the blanks off of every slide because that information is there and you can find it. Um, okay, Ashad and then John Gren. Did I get full marks? I haven't, I haven't looked over them yet because people don't hand them in sometimes until 11.59 p.m. So I don't look at them before that. Um, John can, Gren, what's your question? Can I bring my papers? Yes, you may, absolutely. Hi, Nelly. Okay. Um, Ms. Zoe? Yep. Um, I accidentally pressed uh, something which deletes, um, like, it doesn't delete it, like, it's, it's like, mark as complete, so, like, it removes it from your taskbar, so I can't do my science. Sorry, can you, can you explain that again? Um, so, uh, I was, I was opening, I accidentally pressed mark as complete instead of certain assignments, which deletes like the task where I was about to open the assignment. For, for today? Yeah. Okay, so you should, like in my Edmodo, I also have two options. One is what's due and my other column is reviewed. So I also did this accidentally once. I was in the middle of marking an assignment and then I accidentally clicked like mark as completed or whatever, and it will go into that other taskbar list. So what you should be able to do is at the top oh, of your Edmodo. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, you found it, right? Yeah. Yeah, awesome, awesome. So you can always Thank find you. them there. They don't vanish, they just, move over so that you don't have to look at that huge list of stuff all the time. You can just focus on what you still have, but it's still there. Hi, Juanita. How are you? Good. Good, 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 good. Okay, so I was mentioning to everybody who has arrived that we'll just be going over any questions that you have. I'm not going over every single fill in the blank because that stuff is on the PowerPoint and I know that you can find it. So I'm looking for questions that you have. And if you have a question about one of the fill in the blanks, we can talk about it, but I'm not just gonna go through and list off every single one. Cause I don't think that's what we need. So 
Any questions? And I hope that you do have a couple because before a few more people got here, Ashad was saying, oh, Miss Zoe, it was pretty sneaky that you put some things on there that didn't really have the answer on the PowerPoint and we had to think about it a little bit. And I said, yes, Ashad, it's part of my madness. I'm so happy that you noticed that. And um, there were some, uh, uh, there's some answers in the PowerPoint that weren't on the word. I know. You know why? So that you would have to read every single bit and see if it's important to you or not. Ha ha ha. Okay. I just literally looked at the beginning of sentences and the beginning of the um, fill in the blanks and just pulled it out. Yeah, why bother reading the information or trying to understand it? That's what I would do too. Just pop those fill in the blanks full. Nice work. Nice work. Okay, well, let's chat quickly then. If you have no questions or you're being a bit shy, let's talk about the, the paper experiment. Let's talk about the paper experiment for a second. So the paper drag experiment, it's explaining that what you're going to do is crumple up one piece of paper and then have another piece of paper that's perfectly flat and you're going to drop both from a certain height, right? And then you're going to see what happens. I'm going to give you 30 seconds to think about how to explain your hypothesis. And remember your hypothesis should have if blank, then blank because, which means basically if we, if we know this information, right? If we have this information here, then when we do this experiment, this should happen because of how the information tells us something will go, okay? So take, what the heck, I'm feeling generous. Take a minute and develop how you would like to say your hypothesis. Then I'm going to randomly call on somebody and we'll see what you have to say. And you know what, just for kicks, check it out. I'm just gonna stop my video. Ooh, I'm just gonna stop my video for a minute. You don't know, am I here, am I not here? Nobody knows. Maybe I'm paying attention to you, maybe I'm not. You have one minute, try and come up with a hypothesis. What? About what? Somebody's confused about what your hypothesis is about. Okay, I'm gonna share my screen for a second. And I'm gonna show you the experiment that I'm talking about. So it's this one. And if you like afterwards, I'll go to the PowerPoint that explains it. So what they're asking you to do is to crumple up a piece of paper, one piece of paper crumply, and the other piece of paper straight, and then you're going to drop both. It would probably make more sense if I share the PowerPoint that explained the experiment. Also, because I'm annoyed just by looking at my own black box little picture. I'm gonna go ahead and turn my camera back on. Um, I just have somebody in the waiting room who might be a bit confused about um, whose meeting this is. So I'm just gonna send a quick message and then I'll pull up the PowerPoint. Give me a quick thumbs up if you think you have a good hypothesis. Very nice, very, very nice. Omar, proud of you. Um, yes, yeah, Zoe. Yeah. Then we were, because I already, I already did the experiment. Do we have to do it again? No, no, we're just chatting about it. Oh. Okay. It is at 2 p.m. Okay, there we go. Okie dokie. Uh, okay, so I'll share my screen and instead, 
I'll pull up the PowerPoint that is explaining the experiment. So right here, find two pieces of paper, crumple one piece into a ball, leave the other piece flat, drop both pieces of paper from shoulder height. Notice which one hits the ground first. Explain why this happens. Okay, so I'm gonna stop sharing and I'm gonna ask somebody for their hypothesis. And first, first, I'm gonna ask you, what force of aerodynamics are we talking about right now? What force of aerodynamics is this experiment asking you to think about? What force? Rashad, what do you think? It is also in the name drag. Yeah, it's talking about drag. Nice work. Okay, let's hear our hypothesis. Omar, you had your hand up and I was so proud of you. What's your hypothesis for which paper is going to hit the floor first? I think the crumpled up one is going to hit the ground first. Okay, because and now let's try to form that into a really good hypothesis. So if blank... What's the blank we need to put in here? What's the piece of information that we know that's informing our guess? And anybody can help him if you're not sure. Okay. <laughs> Ashad, see what you can add. The crumbled up ball um, hits, the, hits the ground first. That means that um, Omar can continue. Okay, no problem. Let's let's um, let's do the experiment just real quick. It's a simple little guy, but still, let's do it. Here's my crumply piece. Yeah, Omar, nice. Okay, Omar's got his crumply bits too. So here we go. I'm gonna I'm gonna try and put it so you'll actually see. Okay, here's my crumply piece. Here's my flat piece. I drop. My crumbly piece was clearly far before it, but we need to be able to think about why that is. What does my, what does my crumbly piece of paper have or not have that my flat piece of paper does not? Based on scientific principles, why does my this paper hit the floor so much more slowly? Ashad? Maybe because when you crumple up the paper, it it, uh, it increases in weight because there's um because in the flat uh, because the flat paper it's just like all alone by itself, but the crumply paper uh, the crumply piece of paper like comes close together, and then and there's lots of air pressure um inside it. Maybe that's why. No, that's such a great guess though. This piece of paper and this piece of paper still weigh exactly the same amount. The gravitational force of both of these things is still perfectly the same. Camille? Um, I think they're the same, same weight, but um, the surface of the sheet that is not crumbled is bigger. And when it falls down, it has like air pressure air resisting it from like falling down. So we have to, uh, the paper has to move his way from falling down the floor. Yes, and so Camille said something super important. This paper has way more surface area that's going to create drag, right? If the paper's trying to move this way, this entire surface area is producing drag on this piece of paper. Right? It's trying to settle through all of those layers of air pressure. Whereas the surface area of this, this is the only amount of drag that it has. This little bit instead of this entire bit. Right? So if we know that increased surface area increases drag on an object, then a piece of paper that is crumpled and has a much smaller surface area will produce less drag because there's less surface that is having to push into the high air pressure. Okay. 
Excellent. If you did not get all of that as I just rambled it out, we can always have a little chat about it after. I'll stay on the line for a bit, but that's the general understanding that I'd like you to have. Um, okay, let's chat about making your own experiment. The next, the next piece of the puzzle, and it was optional. No, it wasn't optional. It was the next important piece. Um, was what experiment could you create that would show the same principle? What experiment could you create that would show the same idea? And Ashad, because you're feeling super confident, I'm actually going to not ask you because I want to see what else we've got over here. So, Khaled, what do you think? What kind of experiment could you create that would make the same sort of principle be proven? Any ideas? Any guesses? Any thoughts? No, not sure. Okay, Nelly, what about you? Can you think of anything? No, not really? Woo, you guys, I have stumped you. I'm so proud of myself. Adam, what about you? What's the question? What's the question? The question is, we've just done an experiment showing that greater surface area creates more drag, okay? And is going to make an item move through air more slowly. So the question is, what other kind of experiment could you design that would prove the same thing? I'm gonna put you into breakout rooms for a second and I'm gonna let you talk about it because I really, really think that you could come up with something if you have a little bit of a chat skis. So I'm just gonna put you into breakout rooms really quick, go into your rooms and think about ideas. What do you need to have? You need to have something moving through the air and you need to be able to guarantee that that same thing, because we're using the same piece of paper here, can increase or decrease its surface area. Okay, here we go. Into the breakout rooms you go. I'm only making two of them, so there'll be lots of you to be able to chat with. And let's see, let's just, oh, hang on, I just wanna swap one. This one. Okay, beautiful. Good luck. I'm going to give you two minutes, three minutes. Go join your breakout room, please. And then talk with each other. Okay, I'm going to give them a minute or two on their own just, just to check it out and then we'll get in there and we'll see if they've got any good answers. Sometimes they're not even talking, which is very awkward. I'm gonna join. <clears throat> ah, sounds busy in here. First of all, it's impossible to be talking if you don't have your microphones on. That's the first problem that I'm really seeing here. Ashad, you should have your camera on. There's no good reason for you not to. And Camille, earlier in the meeting, you turned your camera on and it didn't seem to cause any, any glitchy effects. So maybe let's it try started. that. Okay. Right. All right, woo, so you guys still have some work to do. Let's, let's start by brainstorming. What are some things that, that move 
against the force of air. What are some, what are some things that have to fight against the force of air? Oh, sorry. What do you uh, say? Heavy things, heavy things um, like. Heavy things, sure, but light things also. What do you think, Camille? Uh, I thought about, I don't know if it represents exactly the same thing, but I thought about, you know, when you do airplanes, mm -hmm. you do three, you take three sheets of paper, create three different type of airplane, like in your own way, like there's three different types. Yeah. And throw them across the room and see which one goes the farthest and which one goes like the last like further. Okay, that's such an awesome idea. How do your airplanes need to be different to prove this idea that more surface area going against the wind creates more drag? How would you have to alter each airplane? Could they all be exactly the same? No, I don't know. Because okay, else you, think, you think as a group about how you could change those airplanes, each of them, to prove this experiment? Omar just needs a hand in the other room. So I'm going to go over there, and then um, I'll come back. But you guys think about that, because Camille, you're on exactly the right track. You have exactly the right idea in mind. You just have to figure out the, the next bit, okay? Hi. 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 How's it going over here? Mm -hmm. You, nothing! You haven't come up with any solid stellar ideas? No. Let's start by brainstorming. What are some things, what are some things that, that have to move against that force of air? What are some other things, like in our normal day-to-day -day life, what are some things that need to move against the force of air? Plus ball. Okay, wait. I just heard ball, and Omar, what did you say? I said we have to work on this first year. Yeah, and you know what? I think that's a cool one to start with because in these wild times of permanent quarantine, I'm not even guaranteed that you have balls at your house. I had somebody the other day tell me that they didn't have a piece of paper to do the or the Bernoulli's Bridge. They said, Miss, I cannot, I do not have one single piece of paper in my entire house. So I passed the stage of assuming that you even have a ball at your house, but I know that I you do. exist do. at your house. So how could we do this experiment using us? When are some times when you can feel the force of wind against your own body? When you're running. When you're running, yep. Any other times? When you're jogging? Yeah, sure. When you're jogging, when you're riding at a slightly slower pace. When else? When AC is hitting you. When AC is hitting you. Cool. Anything else? When there's wind, like really strong wind. Yeah, when there's super, super strong wind, for sure. I don't know if you guys um, have ever been on a ferry. Has anybody ever been on a big ferry? Those things that... No? Okay, well, this was my favorite thing to do when I was late. When you're on a fast ferry, you go up onto the top deck if it's windy, and you can like jump up and you will literally be blown back like a couple of feet. It was the most fun thing. I always remember this from my childhood. So I agree, when it's really, really windy out, you could do this. Uh-huh. Any other suggestions? Uh, playing basketball. Maybe if there are two people in the, the next, and then one does a cannonball when he's all like crumbled up, and then the other just, just does a pencil jump. Ooh, that's another really good one. That's another good suggestion for sure. That one would be tricky because it's so fast. When you jump off of something, your timing is so fast, but it's a great suggestion. What if you could do it? What if you could do it from higher? If you did it from really high, like imagine an Olympic diver doing a cannonball versus an Olympic diver diving off of the thing. Oh, that's a, that's a really good one, Khaled. As a group, talk about that one for a second more. I'm going to go back to the other people because they were also having a bit of a struggle. So Khaled, try to do, and all of you as a group, try to, try to make a hypothesis about that one. If blank 
then blank because blank. And your hypothesis should be, should be explaining what? Like not all the bits, but what's the main, what are you measuring in that experiment? Drift. Drift? <laughs> Did you just say drift? That's a whole other okay. word. You mean drag. I love you so yeah, much. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> it's okay, No, I'm just teasing you. You are, but, but to figure out which of those people has the most drag, what do you have to measure? In our paper ball experiment, what were we measuring to prove that this one had more drag than this one? Were we measuring, were we measuring the size of the paper? No. Were we measuring how heavy the paper felt in our hands? No. I'm gonna do like a the amount version. of space or yeah. like amount of space. Oh, you're or like so, you're so close. It's the amount of something. I'm gonna do a mini version for you. What are we measuring? Pressure? No. So close, you're so close. I can feel all of your brains. You're right there on the edge. We dropped Air the pressure. floor height and then we compared how blank it took them to fall. How long? Oh, gosh. We're measuring the amount of time. I'm gonna leave you on that note and I'm gonna leave you to try to come up with your hypothesis statement. If blank should be about, which should be about area and the amount of drag if blank then blank because of blank i'm sure that was clear as mud so now i'm just gonna slide out of here and let you talk about your hypothesis um hi Ms. Zoe. uh hi what's what are your thoughts what do you got brewing over here so this um, is my thing Okay, two plastic bottles. Ah, or, I, I see what you have going here. Okay, so you're gonna fill two, two bottles with, with water and one with nothing. And then yeah. you're gonna drop them, right? Yeah. Okay, that's a super cool idea, but I'm gonna go get you two bottles. Oh, hey. All right. Here we go. Here are our two bottles. What is the problem with these two bottles? Camille? Um, you can't like, because the surface is still gonna be the same, isn't, the, isn't it? Yes, it is. If I fill one of these bottles with water, here, here's a full one, here's an empty one. Is my surface area any different? No. No, it's, isn't the area like different, like the amount, like the area? Yeah, I mean like the amount of area she's right. Like because um, inside it, when it's filling up, it's, uh, the air is coming out and, um, and the water is replacing the air. And air is lighter than water. But area, if you remember from math, area is mm. this. Oh, I mean, I mean the, um, you know, like, they're the same weight, you know how they're the same weight? The other bottle is gonna be filling with water, so it's gonna change the weight. So you already know that when a, the water, the water filled with, um, the bottle filled with water is gonna um, fall down first, but like, it's still the same. So it's first. still an experiment, but you're not, yeah. you're not figuring out the right thing. You're asking a different question. If you do this one, your question is, like which which weight, right? How is the weight of an object going to change the speed that it falls at? We already kind of know this bottle's gonna fall way faster than this bottle. But what we wanna be asking is how does the surface area of an item change the speed it falls at? So your bottle idea is still really good. 
we can still use your bottle idea, but we still have to change one of these bottles to be different. I know. And the, and the change we need to make is that the surface area of this bottle needs to be altered somehow. So like crush it? That's a great suggestion. Totally. Mm -hmm. We could crush one of them. So if we have our two bottles and we crush one and we wring it into a tight, tiny, little, skinny little piece of plastic, which I don't know I have the brute force to do, okay? Of course I do. What am I saying? Here we go. We've got two bottles. This one and this one, right? Which one of these do you think is going to fall more quickly? The thinner one. The thinner one, exactly. And why is that? Because there's less surface thing. Okay, you are now on the right track. You are officially on the right track. So now you just have to try to write that beautiful hypothesis. If blank, which should be something related to surface area, then blank, which is going to be one of these bottles is going to fall faster because blank, which is going to be something related to drag. Are you feeling confused? Okay, I'm going to leave you again and see how my other group is doing because I just left them with the same line of blanks and they were like, oh gosh, she's leaving now. Okay. So I'm going to go back. You try to come up with your hypothesis now. Your experiment is bang on. Your experiment is great. You just have to figure out the wording of that hypothesis, okay? Okay. I'll see you soon. Kind of, but yeah. How's it going? Weird. I left you and you were right on the cusp. You were right on the cusp of developing your perfect hypothesis for Halid's dive, dive versus cannonball experiment. Have you made any progress since I've been gone? A little. Omar, oh, I love you. So positive. A little, a little miss. We're, we're doing things over here. We have this cool drawing situation happening. So that's good. I think you're really, you're so, you're so close to being there. I think the hardest part is the if. Oh yeah. The if. The if is tough because you kind of have to like re-say the concept. Okay. I'm going to help you. I'm going to give you the if. Okay. But Ms. Zoe. Yep. Usually, like in other in other experiments, when like we do experiments, it's usually only I think blah 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 because blah 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 blah. Mm, yeah, but you're at the end of grade six now. We're pumping it up to the next level. But I'm gonna help you by giving you the if, okay? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If. 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 An increased surface area creates more drag on an item than if an increased surface. So like a blocking area. Yeah. Areas. Exactly. If an increased surface area Produce so like, more drag then 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 I think then I think that. the diver will go faster or first. Nice because because it has less surface area. Ba boom. Gotcha, gotcha. Right? Because think of this. This is our cannonball person, and this is our diver. Or like, this is our cannonball person, and this is our diver. Right? Obviously, cannonball is going to be like, and diver, whoop, 
is just going to be super sleek because the only real surface area that's pushing against the wind is right here is like their heads and their hands. Whereas this person has like their whole butt and back and whatever ugly kind of cannonball version they're doing. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Try and write that down. Try and write that into your own hypothesis bank. Okay. And the good thing is you only have to plan your experiment. So say your materials, what are your materials? Um, yeah, take that one over. What are your materials? A pool. Perfect. Two what else? humans. Two humans. Yeah. One poor sucker who's got a cannonball. One elegant diver. What else? Uh, a video camera. Maybe if you're super high tech, you want to catch this on film. You don't want anybody in the world to miss this experiment. What else? A pool. Sorry, Khaled, I feel like you were just gonna, gonna come up with a really good one that's important. A pool. Oh no, Omar already said pool. What are they jumping off of? A diving board. Beautiful. How are you going board. to measure how long diving it takes board. them? Are you gonna have a measuring tape? How are you gonna measure how long it takes them? Who wins? Timer. No. With eyes? Stopwatch. I would go with stopwatch because we are scientists and what we love is empirical evidence. Eyeball proof means nothing in the world of science. Okay, you guys have nailed it. I'm gonna head back to the other group and I'm gonna close down your group in one minute so that you can explain your experiment to the other folkies, okay? Cool, see you in a bit. Leave and join. Hi. Hi. Where did Ashad go? I don't know. He was just I here think a he second lived. ago. Yes. Okay, no worries. How's your if then because going? Um. Uh, sorry, that was Ashad's experiment. So. Yes. You can use it. Um, but. Like, she has yeah. uh, stopped sharing his screen, so he can't really... Sorry, what's the problem? Sorry, I had to call to my mom. It's okay. Come on, let's, let's move together as a team here. If, what would be our if? What do we have to explain in our if? Um... Don't we have to write like research, like, uh, like um, a fact about it? Exactly. So, uh, and after write like I think that if nah, nah, then I think that. Yeah. So what's the if that we know? What's the fact that we know about drag and how it affects surface area? Um, can I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If the bigger the surface, the, um, the, mo the more air resistance, then I think that, no, nah, no, I think that, no. Nah. Okay, you're perfect. Uh, absolutely. You're absolutely right. If increased surface area, produces more drag, you've totally nailed it, Kameen. If increased surface area produces more drag, then I think that the squish bottle is gonna, yeah. Is gonna do what? Oh, the squish bottle is gonna um, fall on the ground first. Because? Because the bottle has a bigger surface, so it's gonna, it's gonna try it to, Woo! yeah. Nice work, because this one has a greater surface area, it's going to create more drag, right? Beautiful, beautiful work. No, Ashad, I'm a beast. You may not leave yet. We're just gonna go back to our groups, our big one, 
and we're all going to share our experiment and then you can go. I bet it takes two minutes, okay? One minute. Oh, I didn't want to end the meeting. I want to close all the rooms. Here we go. Okay, go back to the main one. Fast. Hi. Hi. Okay, now all we're going to do is have each group share their experiment and their hypothesis and their materials, and then whoo, we're gonna call it a day, okay? So, John Gren, can you start by explaining what your experiment is? Um, the papers, like... These ones. Okay. What's your experiment about the bottles? Mm, like, like, drop one, like, I don't know what to explain. It's okay, you wanna call in a friend? Camille or Ashad, explain your experiment idea about the bottles. Camille. Okay, Ashad, you do it, and then Camille, you explain your hypothesis. Go ahead, Ashad. Okay. Um, so our experiment is like, you, uh, you take two bottles, crush one up, and the second one, and it stays perfect, and then, yes? Yeah, yeah, keep going. Okay, and then, uh, and then you drop them? Perfect. That's yeah. their experiment. They have one beautifully, expertly, artistically crushed bottle done by the beautiful and talented Miss Zoe. And then they have one boring, perfectly lame and perfect bottle over here. And they're going to drop both of them at the same time and see which one hits the ground. Camille, mm -hmm. hit explaining your hypothesis and hypothesis. If the bigger the surface, the more the less drag um nope, oh the more there. drag sorry wait can i re, re uh, hey. okay the bigger the surface the more air resistance then i think that the bottle that that is crushed is gonna hit the ground first because it has less surface exactly it has less surface area so camille's hypothesis was beautiful if the greater the amount of surface area means the greater amount of drag, then the crushy bottle is gonna hit the ground more quickly because this bottle has a greater surface area which produces more drag. You've totally nailed it. Great work, team. Okay, next group. Nelly, do you want to explain your experiment? You see? Is Nelly there? Is Nelly not there? We have no idea, Nelly. All right. You want to give it a try? Or should we switch over to Omar? Omar, go ahead. You explain your experiment for the team. So basically, for our experiment, you're going to need a pool, two people, stopwatch, and if you want, a camera. I love how he's building the tension and anticipation. Like, my gosh, what is your experiment? Go ahead, keep going, Omar. So, one of the people, one of the, whatever, uh, are, are gonna jump off a diving board, and the other one is also gonna do the same. But both of them, one of them is gonna jump diving like a pencil, whatever you call it. And one of them is gonna jump diving like a cannonball. And our experiment is basically who's gonna take a longer time to uh, land in the pool. Beautiful, you are all brilliant, brilliant scientists. Okay, Winita, Ashad, or Nelly, one of you, take the lead here to explain your hypothesis explanation. And if nobody takes the lead, I'm gonna eeny, meeny, miny, mo you. Commencing eeny, meeny, miny, mo sequence. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a tiger by the toe. If he hollers, let him go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Juanita, you win. Okay. 
if an object goes faster with less surface area, then the diver will go faster because they have less surface area. Yes, I agree. I agree. What would up your hypothesis, the tiniest fraction, is if you pop the word drag in there, because that's the other thing that we're talking about. But other than that, it is totally perfecto, perfecto. Okay, you guys, I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. Do you understand the, com the, the connection between surface area and air resistance, which creates drag? Do you feel super confident, medium, or you have no idea? Okay, perfect, no problem. Okay, anybody who's feeling okay, you may sign off. I'll stay on for the next eight minutes. And if you feel like you're still a little bit shaky on it, you're welcome to stay as well. And we'll stay for it another couple times, okay? Okay, yeah. if you're going, adios. Enjoy your snack, Ashad. Way to hang Thank in you. there and be patient. Bye, Camille. Bye, have a good day, everybody. You too. Bye, Omar. Okay. Yeah, John Grant, go ahead. What do I have to do here? Like That's optional. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. Skip it. Okay. 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 Perfect. So okay. do you are you okay? Do you want to stay for this little chat about No. Okay. 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 okay, so Nelly, you're still feeling a bit confused, right? Yes. Okay, perfect. 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 So let me just look around my house for some stuff that can help us. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Give me one sec. Okay. This versus Hang on, I'm looking for something, I'm looking for something real good. Something that's really gonna help us out. Ah! Okay, I've got it. So for, for this idea, basically what, what the concept is saying is that like, imagine you're running into the wind just like we said when you're running or jogging, right? Imagine you're running into the wind and you're running like this, head first with your arms back, okay? Imagine you're running like that or imagine instead you have a giant triangle of paper, a giant triangle, not even a paper, a giant triangle of like tent material glued onto your front. Which of those is gonna be more difficult to run? pointed with your head like this straight at the wind or with a giant triangle of fabric that like, like a kite attached to you, which would be more difficult? Um, the triangle. Exactly, the giant triangle, right? And the reason that's more difficult is because every part of that triangle catches the wind, right? So the wind hits every part of that triangle and that, the pressure of the wind hitting that triangle slows you down a whole bunch, okay? So, it's the exact same thing with any aerodynamic option. Because the reason that that big triangle slows you down is because wind is hitting every part of that triangle, right? And the wind is forcing against you. Whereas if I'm running with my head down and my whole body like this, the only place that wind is really hitting is the top of my head, right? And then the wind just kind of slides over this way and slides over this way. So it's saying the bigger the area that the wind hits, the more it's going to slow you down. And, and that, that idea of wind hitting something and slowing you down, that's called drag. Okay, okay, so now these are the two items that I have found. And I will admit they're not the greatest items in the world, but they're pretty good. Item number one is my tub of acrylic paint, okay? 
check out the angle on that guy. It's pretty. So what's going to happen if this thing of paint is running along, having a little marathon on its own, the wind is going to hit this tiny point right here. That's the point that's going to hit the wind. So when wind hits that, it's just going to go whoop, right? Whoop. And it's going to, it's going to slow my tub of paint down barely at all. Does that make sense? Okay. My second option is my blender. Okay. My blender is outside doing the same thing. It's running along because it's starting to feel like it's getting a little on the plump side. It's running along. And this whole side is going to be hitting by the wind, right? So the wind is gonna go and it's gonna force this entire thing backwards. A little bit of wind is gonna sneak this way and a little bit of wind is gonna sneak this way. But mostly because of this giant area, the wind's gonna hit it and resist it. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, and the difference is the surface area of whatever the wind is hitting. So this is the surface area of my blender. This is the surface area of my tube of paint. Just that, right? And then that force of when the wind hits and it pushes you back, that force is called drag. Okay, so now you try to create Try to create the little hypothesis, what if, blah, 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 for my blender versus my tube of paint. Okay. Um, so I have to start with the if then until yeah. because. Yeah. Okay. If an increased surface area produces more drag, then I think the blender will go slower because um, it has more surface. Yay! Yep, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. You got it. Um, so does the idea now of like how surface area is related to drag make a bit more sense? Yes. Yeah, okay, beautiful. See, I, I love, by the way, Nelly, I love our little after sessions because I feel like I get cleverer at the end and I'm like, hmm, what can I use? What can I use now? And quite frankly, I'm loving my blender versus tub of paint example. I'm gonna keep that to the side over here for 6C. Um, okay, unfortunately I do have to go because my 6C meeting is supposed to start in one minute and I haven't even posted my little Zoom link for them yet. But, oh, I just want to tell you before I go, I was chatting to a seal and I was like, hey, a seal. I was talking to Nellie the other day from the other class and we were talking about like lessons that people could give in Zoom. And I, you know, she said, oh, a drawing lesson would be cool. And I was like, oh, well, a seal and Sarah are such good drawers. Like, would you want to go to that? And then I asked a seal, a seal, would you want to do that? And she was like, yeah, I would totally want to draw a, or like run a drawing Zoom. That would be so, so cool. So I told her, okay, I'll continue trying to put it together because she's super stoked on the idea. Okay. 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 Have a really good day. I'll see you soon, okay? You too. Bye. Okay, bye.